Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well ever since I moved in here I've been trying to get these flower beds straightened out. All these bushes were overgrown. They were choked out with weeds so we cleaned it all up and put down some weed block fabric. Some mulch, got them looking good. And hedge clippers quit on me right here at that bush. But anyways, so I'm down here working on this part. Got it all mowed out good. But this boxwood right here was dead. So I cut it out yesterday. Let's go ahead and uh, get it and see if we can make a uh, friction fire with it. I've been maintaining for years that any wood sufficiently dry, subjected to enough friction, will produce a bow drill ember. So that's what today is going to prove that theory. And so it'll be boxwood, bow drill, friction fire. Let's go get it and start whittling it down. All right, let me put an edge on that hatchet first. This is a Smith sharpening stone that I got at Home Depot for just under $20. It's got this coarse side and fine side. It doesn't have to be razor sharp, although that is very sharp. And when the stone gets clogged up, I just wipe it off on the underside of my shirt. And my Corona saw from Lowe's, once again, about $20 price range. I'm going to turn that into a spindle. And for a fireboard, uh, Try this piece right here. Spindle, fireboard. It feels good and dry too. I was just trying to get the point on the center line this way and this way check out my bow drill playlist there is there is great tutorials on there that shows you how to cut out your set and use your set from the beginner to the intermediate to the experienced person there's videos on there that you can learn from. And as before in my last video, I gotta charge the battery up before we before we go any further. Alright, let's give it a try. Boxwood on boxwood. This is the first time I've ever used three tenders in a tender bundle. I know it's common to use six or eight, but I got just a little bit of tulip poplar bark and some very brittle pine needles and some leaves underneath. Let's do a burn in. Fatwood barren block. Now, this uh, boxwood is a little bit waxy which you can expect an evergreen is going to have some kind of sap within it. And so I can feel that it has some kind of little waxiness resin inside of it. So let's just see how it does.
that's a hundred. Tip wore down just the least little bit, but there's not much drag on it. Looking pretty good. Let's cut a notch on it. Everything's looking good. It just sort of feels like everything's going to work out. Oh, I do like to take this edge off right here. All the way around. So that it can, just the least little, just the very, very edge, the very, very corner. So it can seat on down and easily get on down into that fireboard. it needs more but I'm not going to use I'm not going to use that damp dust let's go for all new dust that could be considered one long drying cycle I think it'll go this time This is freshly gathered boxwood. Cut it down yesterday. Now, even though we didn't get rain last night, the two previous nights we had rain. So there is moisture in it. Let's see if it'll ignite this time. Now that that, I don't know, was it 130, 140 strokes can act like a drying cycle. We just barely got ignition, but it's ignited. Got to be moisture. And then an evergreen's going to have sap in it, too. So, good. We made it work. Good, 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 good. And the fatwood barren block did a beautiful job, as usual. And got halfway down through the fireboard. Look at that little short spindle. It's about four and a half inches now. But it produced. 
I just have to believe that most any wood sufficiently dry subjected to enough friction will produce a bow drill amber. Let's take it to flames. <laughs> All right. Kind of iffy there for a little while. It was taking forever for those dampish tenders, the tulip poplar and the pine needles and the leaves, to go ahead and ignite. But that's the excitement of this hobby of mine. Nothing's a guarantee, is it? Let's put some of the branches of that uh, boxwood on that. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.